Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Shu, author of the Lightroom blog and Lightroom workshops on video, available at laurashu.com. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to brighten and whiten teeth by using the adjustment brush here in Lightroom, and then I'll show you how to remove little flaws using the spot removal tool. I'm going to click to zoom in, and I'm normally zooming in to one-to-one, -to -one, where I can see the full detail in the photo. I'll click on the adjustment brush, and then the first thing I do when I get into the adjustment brush is double click on the word effect to reset all of the sliders here to zero. Next, I'm going to go with positive exposure to brighten. Now, if you're using Lightroom 3 instead of Lightroom 4 or Lightroom 5, you would use brightness. Now, as I slide this, nothing is happening because I'm saying what, but I haven't yet said where. So I'll go with positive exposure for brightness, and then I'll go with negative saturation to remove color. Now to adjust the size of my brush, I can either use the size slider here, or I can use the scroll wheel on my mouse, which I prefer. I'll leave some feathering on the brush so that what I paint has a soft edge. Now I'll simply click and drag to paint. Now I'm not going to be really careful because I don't want to take your time to get it perfect, but I'll go ahead and paint all of the teeth. I'll use the scroll wheel on my mouse to get a smaller brush, and I'll paint the teeth down here as well. Now once I've painted all or some of the teeth, so I can actually see the effect of my instructions here, I can adjust the strength. So I'll simply come to the exposure slider, back off on the amount, and then experiment with the amount of negative saturation. Now you don't want to go too far, or you'll end up with gray teeth. Now it's really important when you're working with teeth or your brightening eyes to zoom out occasionally to get some perspective on your work. Right now this seems to be okay, but if I go back to fit view here, I can see that I've gotten them a little too bright. I'll go back to one to one, and then I'll just dial back the exposure a little bit here. Now if I've accidentally painted my lip, for example, and I want to undo that, I can hold down the Alt or the Option key to get the erase brush. With the Alt or the Option key held down, I'll use the scroll wheel on my mouse to reduce the size of the brush and I'll paint away where I accidentally painted my lip. I can also show the mask overlay to see exactly where I painted, and I can refine with the overlay shown. I can click on the checkbox then to turn it off. Now, if certain teeth need more of an adjustment than others, I would click on New to do a second instruction. I'll leave the same settings right now for this new instruction. I'll go ahead and paint this one tooth, for example, just to show you, or this side, that on this new instruction, I can then dial back on the amount needed for just that area. If you want to delete an adjustment, you can click on the pin so that it's active or it's black, and then you can hit the delete key on your keyboard. So I'm done brightening and whitening my teeth. I want to get rid of this little ridge over here to the right. I'll do that using this spot removal tool. I'll click on it to make it active. I'll make sure the opacity is at 100. I'll start in heel mode, and I'll start with no feathering. I'll use the scroll wheel on my mouse to make the brush a little bit bigger. And then if you have Lightroom 5, you can click and drag on the area you want to fix. Let me go ahead and delete this. If you have Lightroom 4, you don't have the ability to click and drag, so you'll simply click to define a circular area, which I think will work in this case as well. Now, because I have the tool overlay here set to auto, when I move my mouse out of the photo, the circles are temporarily hidden so that I can judge the effect of my work. Now, this is where I clicked and dragged to fix. This second circle is the source. It's where Lightroom took clean pixels from to cover up this area here that I wanted to fix. If it didn't do a good job in making a decision on where to take clean pixels from, I can click and drag on this source to take it from another area. If I have another area to fix, I'll simply ignore this fix, come over and fix another area. There's a little bit of a ridge in my tooth. I really don't care here, but let me just go ahead and, and show you. For example, I'll click and drag, and then I need to take a source that's going to match up to that line in the tooth. I'm going to move my mouse out of the photo, and I can see that Lightroom actually took a great location for that source. Once you're done, you'll put the spot removal tool away, zoom out again to check your work, and that's all there is to it. Now Lightroom always works non-destructively, so if I came back tomorrow and was horrified by how bright I made my teeth, I could simply go back into the adjustment brush, click on this pin here to make that instruction active, 
and then refine my settings or delete the pin to undo my work. If you've enjoyed this video, check out my Lightroom 5 The Fundamentals and Beyond video series for comprehensive training in Lightroom's library develop and map modules. Learn how to import, organize, and manage your photos, master the develop module to get great editing results, and learn how the map module can fit into your workflow as well. While you're on my website, check out my blog for lots of free Lightroom tutorials and tips. Finally, if you're on YouTube, subscribe to my channel to hear about new free videos. I'm Laura Shue.